This is H2O2 from H2O, and we're about to begin our 30 amp test. The cell has been conditioned and ready to go. It's running at uh, a DC input of uh, about 31 amps. Um, I've got my PWM hooked up. Uh, all i got to do is connect the ground, and that will uh, complete that circuit. Um, I've got a thermal uh, IR meter, um, my uh, poor man shunt, ready to go. My uh, scale for my poor man shunt is uh, one millivolt per amp. The plan here is to put in uh, 30 amps uh, peak and throttle it down to a 50% duty cycle. We'll measure the temperature, starting temperature, and then 15 minutes later we'll look at the temperature again um, and see what the increase is. So I'm going to go start the car. All right. So first, I want to show you the uh, raw DC input. We currently have zero uh, amps of current. I'm going to hook the cell negative to the battery. Let the current stabilize. Okay, so there's my DC current. Now I'm going to disconnect and connect to my cell negative. Okay, so we're going to let that stabilize for a minute. Take my starting temperature. Thirty-six degrees F. I'm going to adjust the duty cycle. to give me 15 amps. Okay, so we got it tweaked for about 15 amps. That puts it at about a 50% duty cycle. Okay, the start time is 512. And we're gonna run this for 15 minutes. All right, it's 5.28. We're at 15.8, uh, 15.9 amps. The temperature is at 42. So that's a six degree increase. As you can see, 
my lugs are generating more heat than those FETs are. I plan to replace those with uh, brass or copper. The FETs are running 46 degrees, 45 degrees. So that's excellent. So now what I want to do is turn the current back up to 30. And now that the cell is warmed up, it will be over 30. And we'll do another test for another 15 minutes. So now my current is at 30.2 amps. I'm definitely uh, running at the higher duty cycle. My flow is phenomenal. Traveling up the tube there. And we'll see if this thing heats up or decreases. So the time is 531 and I'll check back in 15 minutes. Okay, it's 5:45. Let's get another reading here. Looks like uh, 39, 40 degrees. Let's go with uh, 39. So that's a decrease. Even though my current through the cell is uh, almost doubled. That's excellent. Cool to the touch. Almost no heat being generated. I think I'm generating more heat from the internal components of the PWM than the actual uh, the actual FETs. Looks like the the voltage regulator there is putting out about 71. Well, that's kind of interesting. All right, I just wanted to show the peak current from the cell in DC. So this cell's been running um, 30 minutes. 50% of that time is at uh, 15 amps. And the rest of it was at 30. Its pink current looks like it's about 35. And I know at the beginning of the cell, it was cold at 30 amps. We've seen it this far. I'm very happy with the uh, results. So this is H2O2 from H2O signing out.